Alright fellas, welcome back. Let's wrap up another playlist. This is the New England uh, IPA, the Mosaic New England IPA, Volume 1. Definitely, definitely going to rebrew this, make a few tweaks. We'll run through that as we do the final thoughts, final tastings on it. I've had a week on call. I've had a hell of a day today. My hay fever's kicked off. Sun's come out and I just need a beer. It's just one of them, it's just one of them moments where I just... Just need a beer. Grab the camera and do the final thoughts while we're at it. I'm happy with the colour of it. The colour's nice and bright, nice and refreshing looking. It's um, it's nice and light. There was uh, marisotter in this, a touch of oats and a touch of flake barley. But when I brew it up again, I'm going to add some wheat for sure. The haze factor is still still there not clear but it's not as hazy as the first New England IPA that we brewed up here however we did something different to this one in the dry up in which I've never done on any beer and that is 24 hours into fermentation in went the dry hops a couple of people were wondering whether that would strip some of the aroma away from the hops it possibly would do and definitely when I kegged it and did the sneak peek I said then that although the aroma was definitely present, it wasn't as uh, popping as the mosaic pale ale that we brewed up. However, the next day, after it had been in the keg for a day and had a bit of gas, I poured myself a small one and the aroma was definitely there. But I think I'm still going to do the split dry hopping, so I'm going to halve it, do half 24 hours after fermentation and then half a couple of days after that. And I think that'll really juice it up. But let's get an aroma on it. Ah, oh, it's just a, it's just a real nice juicy mango. I like it. it smells fresh. Cheers, guys. Can you taste. Oh my goodness! I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. The addition of the oats has given it a real nice mouth feel and it's funny because it drinks like it's got a light body and then it just gives you a touch of that mouth feel with the oats i would like to add a bit of wheat to this but flavor wise i like it it's got that real drinkability factor to it it's so smooth the bittering is really smooth but the body, the flavours, it's all fresh. And when the bloody sun comes back, I could sit and devour these one after the other. In fact, a week ago, I was doing some gardening. I thought, I'll just have a small glass of it. And uh, I just kept filling up the glass. Glug, glug, glug. Doing a bit more. Glug, glug, glug. And I was doing that throughout the day. But that's all down to the drinkability of it. I really, really like it for that. It's just a nice, juicy IPA. Nice and fresh, uplifting, easy drinking, and what runs throughout it is a, a real nice, tropical, juicy, ripe mango, I think, which makes you want to drink more of it. Mosaic was the only hop that went into this. Surprise, surprise with the name, but um, three hop additions during the boil. So there was a 60 minute addition, five grams, 15 minutes towards the end of the boil, 20 grams, and then five minutes towards the end of the boil, 35 grams. So most of them went in back end of the boil and then uh, dropped it down to 80, a whirlpool steep, 25 grams. And then like I say, 24 hours after fermentation, we added, uh, we added 40 grams. So like I say, I split that, I think next time, 20 grams going in as soon as fermentation kicks off, high crowds and and then two days after that, probably two, three days after that, the other 20 grams will go in. And we'll see if that really, really punches them hops coming out of the aroma. But I do like it. The, uh, the aroma's like a real tropical, it's almost lager-esque because it's so fresh. I do like it. And we're gonna brew it up again and just make a few tweaks and see if we can see any difference in it. But that's it guys, 
That's the Mosaic New England IPA Volume 1. Look out for Volume 2. Oh. that with them every time I pour a glass. So that's it fellas. So as always, don't forget to thumb up this video because you know what I do. Don't forget to subscribe, hit this little icon here to subscribe, click it and you want to see coming up next. Share the video, get it out for all to see. Until next time, I'm out of here. Bye.